they, they work independently in terms of kind of the charities that mm. they champion and the issues that they champion. And I think in this case, I, I think they're kind of making a big deal out of nothing. At the end of the day, it was Prince Harry's choice to leave the royal family as a working member of the royal family. And he, lo he lost his, you know, lost loads of privileges that came with that. The only thing that he kind of kept was this passion project, was, which was the Invictus Games. And of course he has a right to continue it as a private charity. And I think they need to understand that at the end of the day, you know, there are no Invictus, there, there are very few Invictus Games equivalents in other parts of the world where but others just, will just have died for king and country or but just you know, to know, government it's and country Prince or whatever. not Prince Harry that's saying it, it's the veterans that it's are saying it. That's too bad. Just, Tessa, to, to, just to note that, that. That's too bad. Tessa, you'll well, I think that he's always been very clear that he has love still for Harry and Meghan, Charles. And as this paternal figure, I would expect my dad to pop on his social medias, hey, go to the Invictus yeah. Games. That, so man, that man cannot use social media. <laughs> <laughs> the king but cannot the use social media. They do have very prominent social media mm. accounts. And on Meghan's birthday, notably, she was not going